Finally, in the iterate stage, you are looking at the results from the test to determine if you need to make changes. Remember that the design thinking process is nonlinear, so you are able to go back and forth from different stages, and it does not need to be in order. When looking at the results of this challenge, what might you change about your tower, or what changes would you make at each step? It is important to remember that you are never finished creating a product, because there is always room for improvement. After testing your index card tower, there are two options. You are either successful in building your index card tower by having it hold the stuffed animal for 10 seconds. If you are successful, you can go back and ask yourself, how can I make my tower better? Were there ways that I could have bent the index card so to make it more sturdier? Was the base strong enough? Questions like these might help you brainstorm ways that you could improve the designs of your tower. The other option was that your product failed when you tested it. If the tower could not hold the stuffed animal, stuffed animal for at least 10 seconds, this would be the stage that you would go back and figure out what went wrong. You would ask yourself, what worked? What didn't work? What stage should I go back so I can be successful in completing this task? The purpose of the iterate stage is so you can go back and figure out how to make your product better or how you can make your product work.